Good day, fellas. I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill. And today we are going to speak about the IS-2 Shielded. The brand new tank which came into the game or not so new tank. So, first things first. Right? We recently marked this vehicle. To be, uh, uh, to be fair, we marked it yesterday and oh boy, oh boy, I had a pain with this vehicle, to be honest. As you can see, by lo uh, looking into the equipment, right, I, ha I was using the bounty rammer and I was uh, using the bounty gun link drive. That's how bad the gun handling was. Pretty much quick description of this vehicle. If gun is working fine, then this vehicle is fine. Everything is okay. If gun handling is not working, then you will cry in the corner, okay? Then you will hate everything and it's going to be bad. And now the other question, how new this vehicle is? This is the same tank. 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 And even this is looking the same, but this one is trash. So quick comparison for, uh, uh, quick information about this vehicle, fellas. If you like IS, more likely you will like this tank. If you don't like IS, you won't like this vehicle and you will say... <sighs> I have one battle for you, which is perfectly... It is the best battle with this vehicle and it's perfectly describing all this tank. How it is behaving and how it's working and you will see how RNG is looking like, okay? First things first, fellas. We marketed it in 75 games. We have uh, 2.4 thousand damage and 500 assisting damage. The last battle when we marketed this tank, we was going with high explosives. We was on 94, 97 or something like this. So I needed to do only 2.2 grand and we managed to do that. Hip, hip, hooray, mark is ours. Um, in fact, uh, speaking about that game, I believe in the replay manager, I can do kaboom, 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 magical trick. And if I would do pa, 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 uh, heavy tank, uh, heavy tier seven, apply by the date. And this is the battle of the third mark of excellence province. Can I see the score? No. I, esca I escaped from the battle earlier than it was, uh, than it ended. Oh my bananas. Oh well, what can you do? Pretty much that was the third mark of excellence game, but it wasn't too special. It was like 2000 damage, 1000 assisting damage, and I was playing with high explosives. So nothing too crazy. Uh, there was quite some good games. For example, Ensk. But in Ensk, I was going ham with... Um, with a bloody uh, full APCRs because I was pissed to that level, right? So that was very, very good game. 1.8 thousand base experience, 5,000 damage, 8 kills, 88,000 profits anyways. Uh, I can explain you how everything went. From the, from the 0 to 90% we was going with majority of APs loadout, but we had like 10 APCRs just in case if we will meet some big meatballs, right? And after that, from 90 to 94 point something, I went with a full APCRs because that vehicle pissed me so damn off. The gun handling was so bad, it is insane, fellas. And it was sad gaming experience. And if you was, uh, if you tuned um, yesterday I, into the live streams, right, I believe you know what I'm talking about. Anyways, enough of rambling skill. Show the best battle with this tank. Hiya, Captain. I will show you the best battle. Beep. And we are back boys and girls. Here you go. This is the best battle which we had and you will see what I'm talking about um, in this game. It is like perfect description about this vehicle. Now, first things first. This is a very good matchmaking for this vehicle. When you are fighting against the tier 6s or against the tier 5s, you can actually feel like a heavy tank. Whenever you are going to fight against the tier 8s or tier 9s, they are going to penetrate you without even asking your name and you need to keep this in mind, right? And uh, yeah, this is very, very important. Now this is a direct comparison how fast our IS is compared to this tank. Plus on top of that, we don't know how many crew skills he has. Uh, because on this vehicle, I have uh, seven skills. So you can imagine that how, um, and I believe this guy do not have the ground resistance skills or however it's called, right? Now look, 
I will try to use the double, uh, double bush mechanics over there and we will try to shoot people in the short uh, distance range, which is 100 meters or something, 150 meters. And it will explain a lot of things. And I had so many battles when the things went in this way. By the way, in this battle, in this replay, I am using uh, um, ventilation, rammer, and optics. I do not use gun laying drive. Keep this in mind. Okay? This is definitely important thing. Or maybe I have gun laying drive. I can't remember. Probably I don't. How many mark of excellence do we have on this vehicle right there? Eh, could you move out of the bush, you little bushwanker? Okay, anyways, we will we will check it out later on. Now, look boys, pay attention what is happening here. We are simply waiting until someone is going to pick and bounce. Fair enough, that was only one shot. Skill, that was only one shot. Roger that, how about this one? Oh, this one hit. Okay, very good. 400 in the face for almighty cover 2. Can I hit this one? Pretty please. I has pretty much saved this uh, cover 2, right? He went in front, he took one for the team and I did not manage to penetrate him. Oh well, I am aiming into, um, into the turret of the tiger... Um, of the king tiger but as you can see we did not manage to hit that and pay attention fellas how far away they are 177 meters that's not too far away that's very 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 close distance uh, if we are thinking about that and if we are speaking about that i'm thinking about the tiger aiming for a turret kaboom into the turret 350 hip hip hooray and as you can see, we are just simply working this bush out. Oh, this is a good part. Cover 3 is going in front. I'm aiming for his front and we managed to penetrate him. Amazing. Um, this game is not um, asking too much comparison right there. Just pay attention how the gun is working. Sometimes it's working extremely well and sometimes it's not working well at all. By the way, this bush over there, it's magical bush. It's very, very good, right? Keep this in mind, fellas. This bush is bloody amazing. So far we hit every single shot to that cover three which is hip hip hooray can we hit this one pretty please <laughs> yep <clears throat> but blind shot hits okay hip hip hooray so this is very very important part of this vehicle fellas the gun handling will troll you quite a bit a uh, firefly is getting spotted right here. Good, we smack it. Firefly for solid 400, and we have uh, quite some time. Although we are alone over there, I am still IS, right? And against lower tiers, I have quite some armor, which is not bad whatsoever. Firefly, could you peek, pretty please? G buddy, can you peek? Sure thing, he can. I will take those trades any day, any time. Solid 400 in the face for 150 damage back. It is completely fine. And as you can see, boys. Our team is playing very, very interestingly. They are playing in the 1-2 line for some reason, which is very, very weird. Now look how we are aiming, we are aiming, we are trying to find a shot, kaboom, into the side, we manage to penetrate almighty IS. That's great. I am very, very happy. And this is once again good trades. I am taking 150 and he is taking 400 for the team, which is very, very good shit, right? So... Be my guest, fellas, and you can be the judge right here. Is the gun handling working good or not? By the way, even with the angle which Tiger had, I should penetrate him, but probably the shot went into the upper plate. That's why we did not manage to hit this guy over there. Now I'm simply waiting until the Tiger will try to escape, and as you can see, he's doing that, so we simply smack at him in the face once, and um, that's it. He is dead. Beautiful. 3.7 thousand damage so far. But fellas, in this battle, all stars was aligned. I mean, enemies was not rushing on us super aggressively. It was so damn... It was very, very, very lucky game. Russia in the butt. It was very, very, very good game, considering uh, what happened over there. Enemies, enemies did not play aggressively whatsoever. Enemies was standing in the open field without uh, trying to use their armor too well. Um, I mean, it was, it was just perfect for us. Can we um, roll normal? Nope, we can't. A low roll right here and Vika is running for his life while screaming, Mom! That's what he is doing right here. So... This is pretty much the best battle which I had with this tank, speaking about the damage-wise, right? Um, 
and credit income wise overall. But once again, look at this shot. Aiming, 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 RNG, please bless the shot and let me hit him. But 5.2 thousand damage, actually 5.4 damage APR, including that cover, um, that cover three which we killed in the semi blind shot, right? So this is a best battle with this vehicle, but as you can see, gun handling trolled quite a bit, and we can't say um, it worked flawlessly or ideally. In other words, if you have IS-2 Berlin, if you have IS-2M or whatever other version you have, you know what what I would how I would describe this tank. You know the Chinese IS-2, which is like the same IS, but it's made in China. Same goes to this 50-50. 50% of the battles the gun will be made in China and 50% of the battles the gun will work completely normally. Uh, now other thing what I want to say, uh, apparently, um, speaking about events now, apparently there is going to be a double experience for the event which I did not notice it and I did not knew that. So for free to play players it's possible to deal with it when the double experience event will start. <clears throat> Try to save as much 15 times XP as you can and after that when that event will start then you will get twice more experience and then you can pick this tank for free by investing quite some time for yourself with this vehicle and in the same time you can uh, um, I hope you are going to enjoy the game mode. So this is no bullshit opinion for me about this vehicle. I had many 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 um, good battles with this tank but I had quite some battles which was uh, a big pile of caco. I will show you the best games right there. I'm, I'm not going to dig into the replays right for obvious reasons um, I mean we are not going to watch those battles because we can watch them forever and ever and it will take some time but what I want to show right here fellas I want to show you overall how many good games we had with this vehicle not everything is that bad with this tank okay so right here looking into the damage that was the best uh, battle which we had which we just witnessed at 5.3 thousand damage and speaking and speaking about the profits and speaking about everything how much we did I mean 196 grand 1.7 base experience 144 thousand profit that was a good game right after that we had Ensk with a flat 5 grand but once again I was spamming a bit of gold over there not a bit, that, uh, that loadout was full gold, 1.8 base experience, 8 kills, uh, 5,000 damage, 88,000 profit even with a gold, but I had a credit boosters running. After that 4.5, 4.2, 4.2, 4.2, 4,000, 3.9, you see there is there is plenty of very, 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 very good battles with this vehicle, but still I did not really like this tank that much and funny thing in the first day when I played with this tank I had 80% win ratio maybe 90% win ratio and yesterday when I played I had such a horrible start in 20, in 20 battles my win ratio was 25 so I was losing majority of the games and uh, by saying this I want to say fellas every single of us having a bad day every single of us can have um, not the best gaming experience but it happens that's life right thank you so much for watching fellas that was your daily dose of skill see you next time skill is out peace